Uh, evening guys, morning guys, afternoon guys, wherever you are in the world. Anyway, welcome to Football with Brownie. Hope you're well, keeping safe, keeping each other safe and spreading that love right across the big bad world of ours. Now, 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 earlier on, I was listening to Talk Sport. And then you had Matt, the Tottenham fan, going on a rant, proper rant about... Uh, the Tottenham owner, Daniel Levy. And he was ranting at Simon Jordan. And as I was listening to this, I thought, oh, Matt, you could be picking on the wrong guy here. Yeah? But it was proper old school talk sport. And in fact, Matt did have a good point. But... Have a look at this. Man, Matt, what's your take on Solanke going to your club in the first place? Jim White, uh, great show, mate. Um, Thank to you. Be honest, to be honest, I've been, I, I've been holding off. I, I was hoping you'd be talking about another club than talk, talking about my club. But you know what? You just, you just made my blood boil at a point when you turned around and went that Daniel Levy is being ambitious by, by spending $65 million on the fifth Fifth, let's make it clear, fifth choice England striker. We had England's number one. We've now gone to England's fifth choice striker. And I'm, and I'm glad you've got, you got Daniel Levy's mate in the studio with you because he's another one that comes out with, oh, with the economics of Ivan Tony is the reason why Spurs ain't gone for him. Yeah, make it clear, uh, Simon. Just say your mate's tight. He doesn't want to spend the money on a decent... Is there, is there, like in this call. Is there, is there, first and foremost, is there a, a lot of clubs buying Ivan Tony's at the moment? I happen to know the mechanics behind the Ivan Tony deal and the precise yeah, request. And ultimately, I think most football clubs are going to have a reluctance to give Ivan Tony what he wants. So that's where my position comes from on that. Now, you've, your owner has spent 65 million quid and, yeah. and, and you're saying the fifth choice centre forward. And that's probably right. Yes. Who else would you have him buy then? Tony, at whatever price Tony wants. Quarter of a million pounds a week? Listen, there's nothing to do with a million. Stop shouting me! I can hear you. Listen, listen, because you know what? You you make you make my blood boil, mate. When you talk about calm the, down, the, then, the, it, <laughs> mate. The, when you turn around and tell me, the, uh, Jim White turns around and says, "Oh yeah, you know, ambitious. What ambitious? We spent." Well, I can't apologise to Jim enough. <laughs> one second, we spent sixty million pound on Ndombele, and we couldn't give him away. And Daniel Levy's done that year in, year out. And I hear all this, oh, but he's gone and got Vicario. Mate, Vicario's not good enough. And I can tell you, Van der Ven, is, you know, you, you, if, you spend, if you spend £1 billion on players, you're going to get one half-decent come out of it. And Van der Ven is. But Benton Kerr, let's So what's, what's, what's your argument, Matt? Yeah, is I mean, your argument bad I'm buying, good. frugal spending? My, what, what's your argument? Just basically, Levy, whatever yeah. Daniel Levy does, you don't like. My, well, listen, 20 years, Graham Souness is just sitting next to you, and he's touched on it numerous times. This guy is an utter failure. He's the reason why Tottenham are where they are. Do you understand? What, what in a billion-pound stadium? No, I don't care about the billion-pound stadium. I don't want to be talking to Arsenal, Chelsea and West Ham fans saying I've got the best stadium they in the world. They either. I want, I want to win trophies like Graham's got a soft spot for Spurs and he can't even, that guy could die and come back and he still won't win nothing under Daniel Levy. So, <laughs> wait, Matt, when you come back down to earth, tell me this, <laughs> would you rather that he hadn't bought Solanke for 65? Listen, I, made this, I, had this, I had this same thing with Andy Goldstein. I don't want this man to spend one pound of my football club's money because he doesn't know how to invest in the right way. And the reason why I say this is because he does everything. He buys the players. I don't want to hear, oh, Conte bought this. Oh, Pochettino bought that. Jose, no, no, no. He's the one that gives the final go-ahead. And I can tell you now, Conte's rant was one million percent to tell the Spurs fans, this guy is continuously doing... Do you like, do you like the centre-half? Do you like the centre-half? Um, um, Mickey van der Veen, isn't it? Do you like yeah, the yeah. Do you like, do you like him? He mentioned that. Yeah. Listen, yeah. I didn't 
mention it. I did, ma- but the, you got to look at the realities. Van der Ven, yeah, is the only one there in the back four. Romero, let's be honest, is, is a good. You he's know, a good he's a World Cup yeah. Yeah. The guy, the guy, on his moment, he could lose his head, get sent off. The left back, Ben Davis, that guy's going to get his pension there. You've got Chicken Royale on the right, we can't get rid of. You know, Lacelso there, Ben Kulachevsky. Please tell me in whose world you'd go and buy this guy. This guy, I've waited and I've waited and I've waited and I'm still waiting for him to have a good game. I'm sick of it, mate. And Song, let's be honest, he's 32 years old. We're relying on this guy still. And this, all this guy, is, he's, he's going to give him a new contract because he wants half a... A proper, a proper show, the award-winning show. Number two... How many goals do you think Solanke will get this season? And might you have to eat your words? Or oh, he's dropped off, he's dropped off. I don't know if he'll come Spontaneously back. Spontaneously combusted. I, see I, I you, think see so. See what you do to people. <laughs> <laughs> I've dropped That was a really good I, call, I think by he, man. Because yeah, you like see, him shouting at me, that's why. No, no, no. It, I, he, has a, he, has a, he has a point to make. I, I believe, from the outside looking in, in his tenure as a, as a chairman of that football club, he has been listening to the wrong people when he's been buying players. I think that's right. Well, in a column in the past, Graham, you've called to maybe a failure. But yeah, he is. In terms of, okay, he, could, he, he referenced it there, a billion pound stadium. Uh, if, you ask, if you ask a football supporter, a Spurs supporter, what do they want? They want, they want, they want trophies yeah. above a billion pound stadium. And you and you can and absolutely and, you can smash Daniel this, Levy with that. Absolutely. This is, this is a business. It's a business for him and they'll they'll be looking at And you can and you can, and you can absolutely smash Daniel Levy with that particular statistic because it's inevitably to be done. You can't you've got to a Champions League final that you could have won, they didn't turn and up. Now's the time to kick on, yeah. by the way. Mm. And, and and that argument has to be had. It's just a shame talk sport did cut Matt off towards the end, but he did have a good point. He did have a good point. No matter what you say about that new stadium, if you give the Tottenham fans a um, a choice between winning trophies and a new stadium, it'd be winning trophies every single day. Anyway, until next time, adios, bye-bye.